Hi, welcome to another episode in the Early Fair Cuisine. Today, as I promised, I'm showing you this amazing carrot cake recipe. The ingredients, you will find them in the description of this video. You will find the ingredients in the description box of this video. And now, let's start with the preparation of this amazing healthy carrot cake. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to blend the carrots and the pineapple. I use a little bit of water if it's necessary. After you get this very thick juice in a separated container, add chia seeds and mix well. We're going to let it rest for five minutes until the seeds have been well hydrated. In a large bowl, mix vegetable butter and coconut sugar. Here I'm using homemade butter, which I keep always in the fridge after I try to make my own home vegan butter. Do not miss these two recipes on how to make your own homemade butter and be more sustainable in the kitchen. You can find the full recipes in this link above or you will find it in the description of this video as well. Mix well by hand or with the help of a mixer until the sugar has melted completely. Mix the coconut cream and the vinegar and let it sit for around 5 minutes. Then add this mix to the butter and sugar and mix very well. Add a cup of flour and mix well, then add half of the thick carrot juice. Mix again, then repeat this procedure. Mix in the flour, mix again, and then mix the thick juice again. Remember to mix the baking powder and the baking soda with the flour before it gets wet. Also add the vanilla extract cinnamon powder, pistachios, and pineapple in syrup. I prepare this pineapple with a cup of pineapple cut into small squares and two tablespoons of brown sugar. I let it boil for three minutes, that's it. And I let it cool down. Mix everything very well. I'm going to make this cake I'm going to make this cake filled with cream in the middle, so I'm going to bake it in two round molds. You can make a single cake and then divide it horizontally if you don't have two identical molds. I have put a piece of parchment paper on the bottom of the mold so that will be easy to unmold them. I have also weighed them so they're gonna be same size and weight. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for 30 minutes or until the knife comes out clean when pressed. Proceed to make the buttercream. I tried to use my homemade vegan butter for the decoration, but it did not work out. The final result of this experiment, I like it a lot. I am left with a mixture that looks like condensed milk with a very rich flavor. When I saw that it would not probably work as buttercream, I added two tablespoons of coconut milk powder to make the appearance creamier, and it added a really, really rich flavor flavor so good. Expect another experiment of how to use this sweet butter or condensed milk soon. Alright, so to decorate this delicious and healthy cake, I used two sticks of commercial vegetable butter, a cup of powdered sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of coconut milk powder. So we beat this butter and sugar until the desired consistency and that's it, that's how we get buttercream. When the cakes are settled and completely cold, proceed to put a little bit of buttercream over one of the half and spread it evenly, put the other part on top, then use a good amount of cream on top, spread it evenly so it looks uniform and then you can use the rest on the edge. It doesn't matter if it doesn't look well covered the edges because we're going to sprinkle crushed pistachios so the cake is going to look well covered by the sides. Do the process of decorating with the pistachios on the edges first and leave the decoration on top last. To caramelize the carrots, I did the same as with the pineapple. I put them to cook with three tablespoons of brown sugar and some drops of vanilla extract Carrots needed a little bit more cooking time, so I let them cook over low heat for 10 minutes. Why did I only put carrots in half of the cake? Because that's my half of the cake and the other part is for my family. I'm kidding, I and mean, it wasn't because I didn't have enough carrots. I just felt inspired to decorate this way. Have fun decorating your carrot cake as you wish. These leaves I'm using are real carrot leaves, 
but you can use fennel or mint leaves as well. As I announced in the previous video, this is the cake I prepared for my birthday. In the link above, you find recipes high in vitamin A and B6 that I prepared for my birthday. Don't miss any of these easy and healthy meals. You can find the recipes in the link above. The ingredients in this cake are selected to give me a good dose of vitamin A and B6 as well. Due to the amount of carrot and chia seeds, the cake is a little heavy, it has like a fudge texture, it's not fluffy at all or spongy, I admit that, but it's amazing, delicious, very rich in flavor. It is definitely the best carrot cake I ever had and I ever made, I think. Pineapple and carrot is the perfect combination to boost flavors in this cake. I hope you enjoy it. Bye bye.